Hey everybody, I, I, looking into this phone, I see that uh, my face looks very much like, it reminds me of a band called The The, I don't know if you remember, it's just the guy's bald head uh, uh, for the cover of the album, so I think it's kind of funny that my face is really what's sticking out. Um, as you can see, it's night. As you can hopefully hear, hear all those crickets, it's night. Night vibes. Uh, this is John Corelli. Average Guy Opinions. I'm your average guy. I'm saying it in the wrong order, but who cares? Uh, I'm going to light a candle because today is August 1st, and many of you know ah, that August 1st is Colorado's birthday. Happy birthday, Colorado. You're 145 years old today, and you never look better. I'm also going to light these uh, incense uh, because... That's a, that's, that's a nice thing about Colorado, by the way. We're going to talk about a lot of nice things and maybe some not-so-nice things about uh, my favorite state in the Union. Of course, I am biased, but um, we don't have particularly big mosquitoes out here. Um, so when they get you, it's not as bad as like a Florida mosquito or a Minnesota mosquito. I've heard the stories and I've lived some of the, some of the, the stories as well. So we'll try to keep the mosquitoes away still, though. I don't enjoy being bitten and itching. Uh, but yeah, so Colorado uh, came into statehood in, on uh, August 1st, 1876. Um, I'll probably do the thumbnail of this video with the goofy 1976 uh, um, license plate. It was so weird looking. It was like pink, and it, I, I thought it was cool. It was, it was very 76. It was, you can't argue it was very 1976, but it was, uh, yeah, it was kind of goofy looking. You know, we're, everyone in, probably everyone in the world knows the Colorado Classic, you know, mountainous uh, license plate, which is still used to this day. It's been used ever since I can remember. But yeah, for 1976 to celebrate uh, the country's bicentennial and our centennial, um, we, we adopted that license plate. <clears throat> and we are called the Centennial State because of that, because we came in, we came in uh, into being just after the uh, 100th birthday of uh, declaring independence. Um, cool state. Very cool state, eighth biggest state, 38th state uh, to come into the Union, uh, and uh, we have about close to six million people, I believe, at this point. When I came here in uh, 1973, I think we had maybe a million, maybe two million, not a lot. Um, so we've grown a lot. Um, it's uh, it's a great place, like I said, it's a great place to live. And uh, I'm going to do a little history. I got to put this other incense down, see if uh, it'll hopefully hopefully keep the mosquitoes away. I like doing night vibes with you guys. Uh, so yeah, happy birthday, Colorado. Thanks for being awesome. So, um, some of the more negative things about Colorado I'd like to get out of the way, though, because uh, we're not perfect. <laughs> no state is. Um, we, we have, uh, and maybe these are some things you guys can look up. Uh, maybe you find them interesting. Um, actually, I just came back from my one of my best friend's uh, places. Uh, his name is Pete. I'm opening a ginger beer. Don't worry, Mom, they're non-alcoholic has nothing to do with Colorado. I'm just thirsty. But I came back from my friend Pete's house, and he is actually one of the foremost um, knowledgeable people in, in the entire country, in the entire world, about the Ludlow Massacre. Happened in 1914. Uh, it was a, there was a strike going on by miners in, uh, I think, I don't know if Ludlow was the name of the mine or the town or both, but it was a mine, some, I don't want to say it was in, in the mountains somewhere, I honestly don't remember, and I should know more just because I'm friends with Pete and he knows and he's told me a lot about it. But it was a pretty horrible thing that happened. It was a standoff, and the government got in, and often as the government does uh, in this country, and eh, probably everywhere in the world, they took the uh, side of private enterprise and ended up slaughtering uh, a lot of people. can't remember how many, I, but it was pretty bad. Um, and then, like I said, that was 1914 when that happened. Um, we also, uh, not too f long after that, uh, unfortunately in 19, we had no real clan ties in Colorado and, you know, the clan was developed out of, uh, Ku, Ku Klux Klan, of course I'm talking about, not the Wu-Tang Klan, um, <laughs> stupid, but, uh, the Ku Klux Klan came about from the reconstruction of, uh, you know, of, of the Civil War, so in the 1860s, late 1860s, early 1870s, the Klan came about, um, to basically intimidate uh, black folks and, and not and less you know, more woke folks into a certain life and livelihood down there and that spread a lot of that racism spread and became uh, prevalent here in Colorado around 1920 uh, and in the 1930s 
1920s, we had a clan governor and a clan mayor of Denver at the same time. So, but then it dissipated, and uh, but that that may explain why there's still a lot of those roots in many of our uh, systems, especially justice systems and, and even governmental systems to this very day. Um, but uh, if you ever watch Black Klansmen, it's it's about uh, the Klan cropping up in Colorado Springs in the 1970s, and them and, and the uh, the uh, Colorado uh, Springs Police Force uh, having to get some FBI guys down there to go undercover and, and wash that shit out. True story, based on a true story. If you ever get to watch it, good movie. So Ludlow Massacre, um, Black Klansmen, just some maybe historical stuff that you guys might be interested in. But uh, enough negative about Colorado. What? Why do I live here? Because it's it's fucking awesome. You hear the crickets? There aren't crickets anywhere else on the planet, are there? But, uh, I mean, it's we got 14ers. I've climbed four of them. Um, for, for those of you that don't know, but I'm sure all the people watching do know, a 14er is a 14,000-foot peak. We have more of them than any state in the Union by far. Uh, there are about 70 in the entire, uh, at least the 48 con uh, contiguous states. We have 55 of them. And... Uh, I think Alaska might have more, but I know I'm not 100% sure on that. They might just have, Mount McKinley's like 20,000 feet, but and maybe there's a big drop off after that. I really honestly don't know, but Colorado does have the most by far of the 48 states. Kind of cool. And I've been on top of four of them, like I said. Uh, why else is it great to live here? Well, weed? I don't know. That's that's <laughs> becoming debatable. I helped vote it in in, in uh, 2012. and. Uh, Unfortunately, I think it brought a lot of people here, which is kind of sad. If you don't have a good weed dealer where you live, if you actually have to move states to get good weed, that's a pretty sad state of affairs for you. But uh, um, it's we're having a, there are a lot of problems with it. You know, I, with the great rights come great responsibility, in my opinion. Right. So if you want to smoke, I, I believe honestly you should be able to put any drug in your body you want. However, <laughs> stay home, you know, don't go on the streets, don't be that guy like, in the middle of the park on heroin just doing this and freaking people out. Don't be the guy on weed behind the wheel of the car when you are impaired. And I think I overestimated people's ability to take the responsibilities that go along with the rights because, man, it's, it's like driving, it's like Mad Max driving here sometimes between weed and phones and a lot of people just not giving a shit and a big melting pot community that where pe people are often, especially a lot of Uber drivers are from, from outside the country and they may not have understand what it's like to be an American driver. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, but back to the melting pot that is this great state. Um, Aurora especially. When I was a kid here, living here in Wheat Ridge and going to Jefferson High, for one thing, Aurora seemed like a year away. It just seemed so far like it was on the other side of the planet. And a lot of people are really ignorant about Aurora. I mean, I used to hear really stupid things about Aurora. Like, we called it Saudi Aurora, but Aurora, which I don't know if that was a racial thing or just to say how far it was away. I don't know really what Saudi Aurora meant, to be honest with you. Uh, I heard one kid, someone told say, oh, Aurora, that's where all the scum are. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's a blanket statement if I ever heard one. But uh, having lived there for about 10 years of my life and having a job there with an amazing, diverse school, Aurora's great. It's not always perfect. We got some crime, we got some issues, but if you want to meet some diverse people, um, especially uh, a lot of African immigrants, but immigrants honestly from everywhere, Russia, Korea, um, at my at my school we have representatives from 60 countries. It's a third of the countries on the planet. That's amazing and it's beautiful. Um, what else about Colorado is nice to like? Um, it's the healthiest state in the nation. We have more thin people per capita than anybody else. Me, I'm a fat ass in Colorado. When I lived in Cleveland, I was normal, maybe even thin. <laughs> but, you know, it's, eh, what are you going to do? But it really is. I mean, we have a lot of athletic people. People are always running, always biking, always doing something here. And it really is the thinnest state in the nation um, by far, you know. <clears throat> um, what else is good? I mean, we only got, only got 30 seconds to kill. Uh, we have the first openly gay governor, Governor Polis. Uh, that's kind of funny. Polis. <laughs> Sorry. I, I got to make a joke sometimes. But um, he, I think he's a pretty good governor. He's getting a lot of heat for a lot of things. But I think he's, uh, I'm proud of this state that we've gone blue. We used to be pretty red. And now we're a pretty blue state. So I like that. That influx of people from other places I think is actually good. I believe in diversity. I believe in a melting pot. 
and I believe in America and Colorado. Happy birthday, Colorado. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.